Mm. All right, what's going on? Lisa has to sneeze. God. Oh, so high maintenance. <laughs> ridiculous. Great. No. Now it's like a fake sneeze. What the? <laughs> what are we doing? Are we opening a coffee shop here or what? How much longer do we have to wait? No, you can go. I'm sneezing in the middle. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to our shared channel. It felt right, continue. Cheersing herself. <laughs> Listen, if you're not gonna cheers yourself, who's gonna cheers you? Well, there's nothing in them yet. Um, which brings us to the point of today's episode. We bought some kind of coffee machine. I don't drink coffee, so I really don't know what it does. Lily, this is not just any coffee machine. This is Keurig's newest creation. It is trending all over the interwebs and beyond, and it makes lattes. Coors lattes? <laughs> For you, my dear, we will make that possible. But was, we're, we're not I, ruining this because it's Oh amazing. no, I'll, I'll drink my Coors Latte. <laughs> okay, so I just, um, let's see here. So I, oh great, wow. And I also <laughs> already have my fourth coffee of the day from coffee. Jocelyn, so I was like, one latte, and she's like, ah! <laughs> so I went to Target, Target, to buy this coffee machine, this latte maker, and you know what? Probably the most expensive prop we've ever purchased. Well, I hope that it's not a prop and that you guys will use it. Oh, yes, obviously. Uh, it costs like 200 bucks. It's a little heavy. Okay, here's the thing though. If this costs $200 yes. divided by five, what's 200 divided by five? Lisa, do math. Are we dividing this by five? Lisa just, and just I do don't it, drink just coffee. do it. 50. That is how much coffee, oh, that is. Okay, so, you're a math major. So 200 divided by five is like approximately 50. It's we think. 40. Oh, it's 40. 40. So that means if you go and get a coffee or a latte every day at Starbucks or Coffee Bean or whatever, you will have paid for this within 40 days. Does that make sense to you? It, it does to me. It does, but I don't drink coffee, so that doesn't seem like the most. Oh my God, Riley looks so cute. Oh, also, you guys, we have a bunch of dogs in the office today because we're throwing a dog birthday party. I just, I'm gonna show you guys so you don't get left out. Oh, she just looks so happy. She's like, you finally brought me in today, not just my brother. All right. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm very excited about this unboxing because this is very on brand for me. You guys know that I drink coffee constantly. She does. Um, specifically, this is her kryptonite. It's um, the powdered sugar-free and it's powdered so you can take it through TSA well you can um, but it does also look like cocaine and they stop her every single time I do get stopped she now I also put... carries it not in that but in a ziplock bag <laughs> okay so I, I initially started carrying it like this then I get stopped constantly then I was like you know what maybe it will make more sense if I put it into a plastic bag turns out you're right it then looks, it looks more like drugs it looks a lot like drugs Wow Lil. Oh, this is beautiful. Well, it looks nice. I just wish it could do something other than make coffee. Can it make hot chocolate? I bet you it can. It could probably talk to you, love you, give you a hug. It's like a robot. Where's, oh, they came with a book. I wonder if we could call somebody. Jocelyn loves calling customers. You guys know that. <gasps> Ooh, well, look what it gave us, coops. She loves a good coop as I well. I love coops. Um, did you know, I hope that this makes like making coffee easy. It feels like there's not a whole lot of options you can pick. But I was telling George earlier, coffee for me has always just like caused a lot of stress because if I don't drink it at all. So if anyone was ever like, Lil, will you go grab me a coffee? I have this instant panic. Like what like, kind? I, what kind? How much cream? How much sugar? How do you make coffee? I don't know. What are you more concerned with? Teaching your children to speak? or making coffee, because we do know that's your biggest fear. Well, they're probably only gonna drink Dr. Pepper, so still, still the speech. At thing. what age do you start putting lattes in their bottles? Um, okay, so this actually looks far less complicated than an espresso machine. I have, <laughs> it looks very complicated. Have you ever seen espresso machines like in people's houses that are like the fancy pants ones? Oh, and ones? then they're like gold and like, and it's like Tatiana in Italian. Oh, I'm sure she did. Tatiana, do you have an espresso machine? Yes, you do. Okay, so Lil, what do you say? Let's get brewing. What are you gonna make? I guess this, now is the time to tell you I don't like lattes. I only like straight sledge. Like I like Americanos, but because I'm so generous, I will drink a latte today. And you know, we'll make one for George. He likes lattes. What? is the difference between a latte and... Oh, young pups, let me tell you. <laughs> oh my God, I hate that so much. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna call you that, Great. young pup. Okay, well, young pup. <laughs> um, so lattes have like frothy milk, or it can be almond milk or whatever on top. 
Americanos, which I like to drink, are straight up espresso with hot water. So it's like a stronger so version of coffee. So it's a straight up coffee. But, so mm -hmm. in a latte. Has the frothy milk on top. Which but is the hardest part to do. in with coffee? And then it like drizzes its way in. See, it's kind of foamy on the top. And then it like blends its way down. Okay, should we begin? This, I've never worked at Starbucks. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yep, let's begin. But that would be the most stressful job ever. Before you brew, plug and place. Plug it in. Okay, now place a large mug on the drip tray. Okay. Done. <laughs> now you fill this up with water. Look at me making coffee. So you can actually like remove this and carry it over to your sink too. That'd be easier. Put the lid on. Then number three, the frother. Okay. Turn on the power. Put the lid on the frother. Here, this is the whisk. Does that just like go in well, there's there? Like, there's um, like a thing so it could go on that. Oh yeah, put it on that. And then put the lid on top. Turn on the power. Do we need to put milk in there? Oh, this is like what you do to clean it. We're not doing that, sorry. But it says you're supposed to clean it first, but we just assume it's clean, we don't care. Okay. We've used used makeup before, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Um, I have some milk over here. The first thing we do is fill the frother. And you can do this to make a hot latte or a hot, hot cappuccino. So what are we making? There's a latte line and a cap line. George, what do you prefer, a latte or a cappuccino? Latte. Let's do a latte. This is pretty innovative, the fact that this will make these. No easy feat. So press the latte button on the frother base. It will beep once and the button will illuminate while heating, which will take three minutes. Now, George, question for you. <laughs> Would you like an iced latte or a hot latte? Great. It's a little chilly in here. Um, okay, now place the mug on the platform and now we have to grab our pod, which we have right here, Lil. We have our K-cups. You can use any K-cup you want. So we're not even really using K-cups. Feel but they're like Trader Feel Joe's. Sacrilege. I actually think they're a lot better than K-Cups. No so this offense. is a French roast. That's your only option. So you lift <laughs> this guy. Yeah. yeah. Put it in. Um, hit the button, the K button. Let's see. Um, blah, 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 blah. Are the buttons on the top blinking? Is it on, by the way? It is now. Okay, great. <laughs> Oh, it's talking to us. The shot button and strong button will illuminate. Yes. Press the blinking brew button. So with a K. <laughs> and it'll keep blinking for about, okay. Brew button will all remain illuminated while brewing, about one minute. Brewing is complete when the buttons are no longer illuminated. So what's new with you? Um, I went to my chiropractor for the first time in a month. No, how was Raheem? Uh, Raheem was lovely. He just got back from um, Nice and Monte Carlo and he didn't see Selena Gomez there, but. How unfortunate, has he seen her there? That's such a good film. Do you know anyway. that actually, funny story, George and I are the ones who got breaking news on that movie. No one knew that Selena Gomez was gonna play someone with a second accent. Do you remember that? That was and the breaking some, news. And then we were the people who realized that she even was playing a second character. But I will say this, that was actually an inspirational movie for me. What? What's going on? It's a tornado in there! I have to show you Lily. guys! Wait! I know, What's shit. going on? We didn't plan for this. Yeah, I Look guess. at it go. Why isn't this starting? Oh, is it coming out? Lil, look! Woo! It's like a little baby peeing for the first time. <laughs> tinkle, tinkle. Something I really didn't need to. Ooh, it is frothing. Whoa. Wait, so that could, that's gonna go in and then we pour this in? Yeah, and then it's it so looks limited like... though. Why is there, is, do we press the wrong button? It's like not, oh, it's like, it's like very it. like, it's coffee for amateurs. I get it. Okay, Which, see, so I maybe I'll want... kind of like it. That's like how I'll train myself. Um, no, but what I was gonna say is Monte Carlo was a movie that was very important <laughs> to me because <laughs> me and Dana went to go watch the screener and they had so many close-up shots of all the people in the movie's faces. After that, we decided both to get Botox. <laughs>
We were like, whoa, we have a lot of wrinkles. Wait, because you thought they looked good or bad? Yeah, we were like, whoa, their faces look so good oh. close up. They were also like 17 and we were like, not. <laughs> but at, right after that, Dana woke up and I got Botox. Oh, it's getting, it's getting steamy. It's very frothy. I think it's really cool though that this has a cold option because I would assume it gives you the same sort of situation but without the coldness. Or not be lit up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay, we take the cup out okay. and create our coffee house beverage. So, and I just take the top off and pour it in. Is you there remove, an art to the pour? Remove the frother, remove the top thing, remove the lid, and pour the frothed milk over your shot of coffee. Do you want me to like move it closer to you? And then we just get the froth at the top after we Oh, right, we need a spoon. Hold on, I'll use the it Are lattes what they do art in sometimes? Yes. Can we do that? Here, let's see. Lil, that's gorgeous. Barista Lil's at your service. Here, let's see. Look at this. That's like food. How pie. do they do the art though? Do they like I think have you it need add another thing and then? Like, I think you have to like. This add. is a very diluted latte. <laughs> I mean, that's what they look like I in pictures. I think they are frothy, but I think normally it's like brown all the way up. So I think we would need Probably some stronger coffee. Do you great. want to try it? Um, I feel like, should we just have <laughs> George, George, come in and come try, try this. your latte. I've already got mine. I already have mine as well. I'm impressed. I... We did yeah, a good I'm job. Impressed by, <laughs> impressed by the machine or that we were able to make it. What do you think? Bad. It's hot milk. Isn't you it? owe me 50 cents for that, please. Oh, wait, you already paid for it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'll try. Was it hot? We're good. No. Is it lukewarm? It literally, it's like it's milk with like, like a hint of coffee. Mmm, <laughs> it's like hot milk. Fun story. I used to only drink hard alcohol when I went to Arizona State because that's what you do there. That's college. Um, but then I became allergic and got violently ill every time I had it. So I had to train myself to like Coors Light. You so could it was train a lot yourself of, to like coffee. This is how I would train myself to like coffee, is drinking that every day. And then eventually you would get used to the taste. I think honestly you should consider it because it's so good for you. <laughs> I don't think I need another addiction. But <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a good one though. Um, I give this Two thumbs up. This made me feel fancy. Now I can be like, hello, do you need me to make you a latte? Hold I just on, need to find the right cake cup. Where's my phone? I want to call them and tell them good job. Oh, here. Oh, my phone's on my lap. Do we have to? Yeah. I think we should. You know, it's like people, if you have something nice to say, you should say it. Yeah, but are the people working in customer service really the ones that deserve our praise? You know what? Who else are we going to call? Mr. Keurig? Mrs. Keurig? I don't have his number, but you could check. Thank you for calling Keurig. You're We're welcome. We're happy to hear from you today. If you are having trouble using your brewer or Not making a beverage, Opposite. please press one. For all other inquiries, please press two. Perfect. George. This is Erica. How may I assist you today? Hi, Erica. Um, I'm actually just calling in regards to the new Keurig latte maker. Um, okay. I just wanted to say I love it. And I think you guys are doing a good job. That's all. I also I definitely want to take the information. Is there anything else I'm supposed to today? Nope, just love it. Keep doing it. Thank you. Goodbye. You're welcome. Thank you for calling Carrie. Bye bye. <laughs> this lady is like, what the f is this bitch calling me for? Why are you wasting your time? <laughs> She could not have Listen, been less than Think about it. Think about it. When you call customer service, it's people like, my coffee maker won't work. No, I guarantee now, you she's going to go like, to all what her the hell? coworkers. Yeah, she's going to be like, some guys. crazy lady just called me to tell me she likes what we're doing. And you know what? And then everyone there is laughing. They're like, that's stupid. Why would they do you? But they're laughing. Brought a little probably smile to their face. Day. You probably, probably just made I guarantee day. she's going to tell multiple people that that just happened. When she hits the bar tonight, it's Friday, by the way, <laughs> she's going to be like, you want to know what happened? Today I was at work. It's like crazy bitch called me and was like, good I job. don't know if this is going to make it to like bar drinking chat afterwards. <laughs> like, it's not going to make it to happy hour, but I think she'll tell her. Do you know what I bet's going to happen? I bet she sits next to someone she has a crush on, and this is how they're going to come George thinks we should wrap it up, and I agree. <laughs> This anyway, was really fun though. Um, I'm all for buying new things. I would prefer ones that didn't make coffee. Can we have something that like- What do you want? Like an ice cream maker? I, okay, great. Oh, we still need to do the soda stream. 
And we also bought an instant pot, and I think we should melt 40 pounds of cheese inside of it. Did you know that Keurig and Dr. Pepper is the same company? Shut up. Oh, you have a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Perfect. This is so convenient. Wow. Right, I hope you're watching. Dr. Pepper, I hope you're watching. Anyway, are we done? We're done. I still don't really know what the point of this video was, but I liked it. Yeah, we're gonna keep it's this. It's basically a tax write-off for the office, but we just needed to make a video too. Okay, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Please subscribe if you're new. Mm -hmm. Also, Erica, thanks for the phone call. <laughs> Bye. There's literally just like Jocelyn's hair all over all of this. My hair has truly got a life form all its own. It's everywhere. <laughs> My hair is everywhere. One of the few song references I know she'll get. <laughs>